everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and today I'm going to be trying the foxy eye trend that has been circulating all over YouTube, all over Instagram. I don't know, it's just everyone seems to be trying to copy like Bella Hadid or Kylie Jenner and I know there's a lot of other celebrities who rock this foxy eye and pretty much it's like a cat eye. It's like a cat eye but it's a little more lifted. And I think what makes this foxy eye is the brows and obviously the eye, the technique you use in your eyeshadow. When, if you wanna create a foxy eye, you could use any colors you want. You could do a colorful foxy eye. You could do like a neutral, smoky foxy eye, cool tone, warm tone, it doesn't matter. But I think it's really fun to try to, you know, recreate. I had fun doing this. I know I am not a makeup artist and I don't have all the proper tools and techniques, but I still have fun, you know, doing this type of stuff and sharing with you. And if you guys never heard of this foxy eye trend, it's a new technique you could try out and have some fun with makeup. But yes, if you wanted to see how I did this, I look this foxy eye I also did a full face because it's kind of a full face routine to, to create this illusion of the foxy eye but yeah I would love for you to keep on watching and I would also love if you would like and subscribe and definitely stay tuned okay the first step I'm gonna do since I'm gonna be doing a full face is I'm gonna apply some primer and let it sit this is the Ulta Beauty poreless face primer. It's just like a little sample. Oh, my hair is already starting to fall out. I want to try to make my skin as smooth and flawless as possible. This primer is very silicone-like, so it's supposed to be very blurring. Okay, so brows are very important, apparently, for the foxy eye trend. So first we're going to do a little brow grooming. I'm gonna brush my brows up. They're pretty long. With the foxy eye, like you kind of want your brows lifted as much as possible. So it's like that the tail doesn't go down, it's supposed to go up. But I'm not gonna shave off my tail. But what I would like to do is just do a little grooming and this is the Japanese little razor. I found this at Rite Aid I believe. I know there are like dollar brands. You could find these little razors anywhere. The only thing I like personally when I buy one of these razors to make sure it's small. I don't want one of those you know the big razors and you could use these for your brows. You could use it for your mustache. You could use it for your face you know like your entire face so makeup goes on smoother and I just like I'm not a professional at this by any means but I just like to go through and clean up any loose pe little pieces and if you have like Eyebrow scissors, little scissors you could trim your eyebrows too. I don't currently have those. I seem like a really cool tool on Yes Style for like $2 where you could trim your eyebrows. And if you need to do any trimming on top. Okay, now I, I like to personally go in with foundation first. If you like to go in with um, like your eyes first and foundation last, that's totally, you know, your thing. But I am gonna do my foundation. The foundation I've been loving, honestly, is the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. And I have mine in the sh shade Shell Ivory. Like this foundation just looks good in real life. Sometimes like I'll put foundation on and I'll think it looks okay and then I might go to work it starts to cake up and it just looks I don't know it just makes my skin look like too makeup-y but this one like just blends in with my skin it look it's not like dewy I wouldn't say 
dewy, like oily, but it definitely leaves like, I don't know, it's very skin-like. I use quite a bit of this. This is probably my most used foundation. And I'm gonna use my e.l.f. sponge to just blend it out. And I wouldn't say this uh, foundation is full coverage, but it, it smooths out my skin tone, it hides the redness, it just, it just looks nice. I'd rather not have really full, you know, I'd rather have skin-like, looks nice, rather than super full coverage where it looks like a mask. Okay, now that I have my base on, I'm going to go back to eyebrows. I'm gonna brush them up. Kind of smooth out the top. And I'm gonna try to erase a tiny bit of my eyebrow. So it looks like pointed. And I grab my most full coverage concealer this is the It Bye Bye Under Eye in Light Natural. And I'm gonna take a little small brush and try to erase a little bit on my brow. I'm gonna take my finger and just like blend, not over blend it. I know people do like that glue stick method. I just wanted to try this method out. Okay, and then I'll take a little powder. I have my e.l.f. Um, it's the Halo Glow Setting Powder. And with a small brush, I want to tap over. See if this works. I might have to go back. I'm going to go back over with a little concealer over that. I know this might look crazy. And back over a powder. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. Okay, I wanna use some brow gel. This is the Brow Gale Tinted Brow Gel with microfibers. I'm almost out of this product. But we're gonna try to get everything to stay more up and then I want to go in with my color pop dope taupe it's like the brow pomade and this little brush I got from boxycharm it's from lavish and I just want to take a little of this and kind of define my brows a little bit more like the tail end. Kind of fake a new tail. Okay, next step is we're gonna work on our eyes, which are probably most important step. Brows and eyes, I feel like, are the most important step for the foxy eye. I'm going to use some of my Ulta Beauty uh, Nude Matte Eyeshadow Primer. And for my eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the Soft Glam Anastasia Beverly Hills. So you can use any eyeshadow palette, any colors you want to use to achieve a foxy eye look, like you could use purple, it doesn't matter, but I'm just going to do like a neutral foxy eye. I'm going to set the primer down because it's what I like to do with Tempura, it's the matte cream shade. I can kind of go over where I put the concealer on my brows to try to help that situation out. 
Okay, I wanna take a small blending brush. Now the idea is you want to connect the corner to your eyebrow, like your new eyebrow you created. And you want that like feline flick. So I'm gonna go in with first, I'm gonna go in with burnt orange. Where is it? Right here. And I wanna use like a smaller fluffy brush, nothing too big. And I'm just gonna start bringing it up. And I, I wanna put my brush on the eye first and drag it up so there's less pigment I'm bringing up. Now I wanna go in with Rustic. It's this um, brown shade right here. And I wanna do that again. Kind of trying to create like a triangle. And I'm going to take another small fluffy brush and go with Cypress on Umber, the deeper brown, and I'm going to do it again. And I saved my concealer so I can clean any, you know, I didn't do my concealer so I could sharpen anything up that I need to. And I just want to take a, a brush, a fluffy brush, and just kind of buff it out so it's not so harsh. And I'm going to go in back with burnt orange, and I want to take a little bit of this and put it into my crease, just a little bit. Kind of like blend it in with my dark shadow on the outside. Oh, I have that like feline effect. Like you could go all matte with this look or you could add a little shimmer. I wanna add some shimmer. I'm gonna go in with glistening right here. And I wanna pat this on like the, lit, the part of my lid where there's no dark shadow. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that tempera and highlight my inner corner. And I'm gonna highlight my brow bone. Like my new brow bone. New brow, to try to lift it up a little. Okay, for the liner part, I'm gonna use shadow. Some people use liquid eyeliner, some people use uh, like smudge out pencil eyeliner but I'm just gonna use this black shadow. It's Noir. And I'm gonna use like a angled brush. This is from Wet n Wild. I got this at the dollar store. And I'm gonna try to make a wing, but I don't want it to be too harsh. take my small blending brush I've been using and I just want to diffuse it a little but not a lot I'm just like slightly uh, brushing over it and like an upwards motion go over my crease into my crease a little okay now for concealer I want to clean up anything any mistakes I made, make it more sharp and defined. I have some of this Age Rewind Brightener shade. I seen someone use it and I was on the lookout for it and it's like a peachy color, so it just like brightens your under eyes. I'm gonna focus it down here, like where the blue is. And then I'm gonna take my Candid Revlon Concealer in the shade Vanilla. And I'm gonna put some right over here. 
to clean anything up. Do a little highlighting. And I'm gonna use a brush to blend it out. And I just wanna take my sponge and make sure everything is blended in before I go in with powder to set my face. I'm gonna go on again with my e.l.f. powder, my e.l.f. halo setting powder. with my e.l.f. Camo um, Concealer Sponge. I'm just gonna brush everything away. For bronzer, I'm gonna use my Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade Dolce. That's the name. <laughs> and look, I hit pan. Well, you could see like where the pan marks are, which I'm pretty impressed with that. I did uh, hit pan, er, go through a bronzer before I went through the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm gonna just warm up the face and I'm gonna try to like bring everything up. I don't know if you noticed, I'm also wearing my hair up high. Like try to do some lifting by having my hair up. I think if you want like that lifted effect, wearing your hair up tight helps. For blush, I have my Hourglass blush in the shade Diffuse Heat right here. And I'm gonna put some little high, like on my apples and kind of do the same thing, like that lifting motion. It's kind of like tricking the eye when you're doing this boxy eye. For highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Revolution Triple Baked Highlighter in Goddess of Faith really pretty like boxed highlighter and I want to focus like on the tops oh it's blinding like the tops of my cheekbones and bringing up I want to put a little under my brow bone here Definitely use my sponge to blend it in a little because that was intense. To set my face, I'm going to be using my Water Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Mist. Okay, and now time to finish up the eyes. First, I'm going to go in with a uh, eyeliner a pencil eyeliner i'm using the shade black you could use brown um a lot of people do use brown because it's softer i'm going to put it in the waterline but i'm going to focus it just like under my eye and up i'm going to leave this part empty i'm going to take a pencil little fluffy brush I'm gonna go on the shade Cypress Umber, that deeper brown. And I just wanna blend that a little out. Yes. Yes. Did you finish Outer Banks? Yes, it was so good. I told you. I can't wait for the new season. I know it's gonna be over a year though, and I'm upset. I am glad they lived. Yeah. And then I want to take some Noir and connect it. And I just want to clean up anything I feel needs, like if it needs to be sharpened up or whatever. And then I want to go in with Tempera and I just want to highlight this area again and bring it down before we do 
our final step to make it foxy eye. Okay, now this is the tricky part. We're gonna take a liquid eyeliner. This is in black. This is the Hank and Henry slick with it. I'm not gonna line my whole lids. I'm just gonna do like the inner corner. Okay, and if you make any mistakes, just take like that little concealer brush you use for your brows and just clean up anything. Cause that is not easy to do. Not a hundred percent happy with it, but it will do. <laughs> Now I'm gonna put some mascara on. I don't wear fake lashes, but wearing fake lashes would definitely help make this really foxy and amp up the look. But like, if you're like me and you don't like to wear fake lashes, try to focus the mascara on the outer part and kind of like try to flare it out a little. And for my lower lashes, I just want to keep it, honestly, I just want to keep it like right on the outer part. I want to keep this area kind of free of mascara. So it's just a, like kind of like creating an illusion to make your eyes look elongated and high. And I'm gonna top it off with some nude lipstick. This is my NYX lingerie in Lip Lee. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if they make these anymore, but I just been loving this color. Okay guys, so that is it. Here is my take on the foxy eye trend. I'd love to know if you guys are interested in, you know, the foxy eye trend. Have you heard of this? Do you like the trend? Or I don't know, how long do you think this trend will stay around for? I don't know, I think it's fun to try different uh, techniques and different trends. Cause honestly, I find this trend kind of wearable. Um. My eyebrows do look a little funky with trying to cover them up. Honestly, if I was to try to do this again, I would just leave my eyebrows the way they are. And I don't think I would add the inner, like, you know, inner wing or whatever you want to call it. Um, I like how the outside part looks and how the wing looks with the eyeshadow. So I don't know, I had fun trying to do this. I think it's I think it's fun but yeah I hope you guys all have a great day I hope you're staying safe and I will see you soon bye